What's up everyone, Kyle here and you're watching Driving and Vibing. Today we are hopping back into the Airstream renovation. It's been about a week since we last touched base with you guys on this project. So just to let you know where we're starting from today, we have moved the frame up to the sandblasting and welding shop and we are going to begin jumping into this process. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. So like I said in the intro, we are up here at the welding and uh, sandblasting shop here in Fairhope. It's a good local company that does a lot of iron and aluminum work. Today before we jump into the sandblasting and welding part, we have to really treat this frame for a few final things. So part of this today is going to be removing all the excess stuff off the frame that it will just get in the way like the uh, propane mount there's a few things in the back that need to come off and then we'll then I'll be kind of uh, sawing off some metal structures that we'll be replacing and uh, bring you along for that process but first uh, let me just take off this lightweight stuff show you what we're working with and get this first job knocked out all right y'all so first up this and all of the wires and pipes attached to it has got to go, so let's knock it out. All right, y'all, so I removed all the light stuff that was attached to the trailer. Uh, here's the pile of it right down here. So you see we got like uh, just power cords, random, random stuff that was attached to it. So now that all that is gone, the trailer is looking pretty clean. But now what I'm gonna be doing is actually sawing off some of these structural pieces on the frame that we're gonna be replacing. I'll turn the camera around real quick and show you which ones we're working with. So most of the damage that we found once everything was stripped off was located right here in the front of the trailer. We'll be replacing this piece right here and then we'll also be replacing these two angular pieces here and here. And then once we replace those, we'll be welding uh, triangular plates beneath each of these just for added support. And then we'll also be working on um, new pieces over here, but I don't think I'll have to remove anything today. The only thing I might remove is this, but we're still using that to rest on right now. So uh, that is really the next step. Let me turn this back around. And uh, I feel really good about the direction we're going. You can see the trailer behind me now. It's looking good. Uh, we get the axles in on Friday. I'm so stoked about that. So. Hopefully today I'll get this totally prepared for sandblasting. Hopefully in the next few days we can sandblast, we can shortly thereafter weld, and then we can put the axles on, at which point we might fabricate a few extra inches of lift, which would be really nice. But uh, you know, before we get too deep into that discussion, I'll put the time lapse on again and uh, grind off these pieces that we're gonna be removing. So yeah, let me get to work. One down, a few more to go. All right, one more to go. Camera battery's about to die. I'm gonna do this one real quick, then touch back in with you guys. All right, y'all, so I removed three pieces of structural metal at the front of the frame. I showed you those, showed you where those were. Those are where some of the biggest damage spots are done. 
And while uh, maybe one of those pieces I could have kept and felt good about, since they are such essential pieces to the way the frame is structured and uh, how there's just a lot of support here in the front, I felt like it'd be in our best interest to exchange all those pieces out for new metal. Now, one of the things that I'm about to do is remove this bizarre piece. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll just turn this camera around real quick. So right here, this is just a plate of metal. Now, it's not like a whole metal tubing piece right here. This is like a C piece of metal right here. And then this is a plate that has been shaped and welded on throughout the first half of the trailer. It doesn't go all the way to the back. Uh, I'm not 100% positive why they had this piece here. Uh, possibly for extra structural support, but not sure. Either way, you can see all the rust here. Now, I want to be able to access the rust behind this channel. So what I'm going to do is pop the welds off here, remove this piece of metal. That way we'll have access to all the potential rust zones, not only to sandblast them and get them back to the nice metal, but then also to coat them in paint and protect them in the future. So next up, that is what I'm gonna do right now. Pop these suckers off. And uh, yeah, they go just a little ways down. You know, you can see where they end right about there. That'll give us good access to see the rust damage. And then I probably won't put this whole piece back on, but I will put supports uh, you know, throughout. You can see right here that it's just separated, you know, I mean, I don't know what this is doing. This isn't doing much of anything. I'd be happy to put supports all the way across, but I don't see the reason to put this same piece of metal back exactly as it is. But I definitely want to give the frame support as this did. So let's get to popping this off and see what lies underneath. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we got the first two sections off. I got about four more sections to go. It takes a little bit of time, but you know, it's just tedious work. It's not that challenging. Just gotta, uh, you know, grind off a few welds. So I'll show you the rust down here. It's looking pretty good. I'm actually quite pleased by what I'm finding. Let me give you a look at what we got. y'all so I got the last piece off from the driver's side and I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up today because I do have a few other things to get done this afternoon but for the most part I mean really knocked it out on the camper today as far as cleaning up everything removing the piece of aluminum on the back that we had to remove just getting all the rest of the wires out of the way removing those three support structures at the front and uh really just getting this thing ready to be sandblasted because 
that's the next step. And right after we sandblast, we're gonna be welding on the new pieces. Uh, you know, we're gonna be adding metal to reinforce the frame where we wanna make it extra strong. So, and then we're, once we do that, we're gonna put the primer on, we're gonna put the axles on. This process is really moving along quickly because everything's coming uh, together. Uh, we're getting the axles much sooner than I expected, so we'll have those by the end of the week. Trying to get this work cranked out. I'm gonna be back up here tomorrow, removing the other side so we can get access to that channel on the passenger side, and then we'll be ready to sandblast. So today, yeah, it was a nice day working, all right? But that tool I was using is very dangerous. I am well aware. I have a lot of experience using it, both in college and working on the fiber stream. It is never a fun tool to use. It is not a tool I like to use. And please don't use the way I use it as an example to use it. Make sure you follow all the safety precautions needed. I was wearing goggles and gloves. It would have been nice to have a full suit on and a mask on. Uh, I just didn't have that available today. But you know, I was extra safe with how I was using it, making sure I wasn't going beyond the speed of where I felt comfortable using a tool. So with all that said, uh, go easy on the comments. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I guess that's where we're at today. Uh, catch back up tomorrow. We'll have our Thursday Q&A video. Thank you guys for tuning in today because uh, yeah, we're back working on the Airstream and that is always a good thing and the progress is gonna be moving so quick on the next few weeks. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all the work we're getting done and we'll see you guys next time. Later on.